hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial we'll simply be learning how to draft a basic body pattern if this is a video you're interested in please keep on watching and don't also forget to like our videos and subscribe to our youtube channel and also turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video so for this um basic body pattern We'll be needing some measurements which um which you are familiar with so the first measurement we'll be needing for this pattern is our shoulder measurement so the shoulder measurement i'm working with is shoulder 16. you'll be needing your bust point the bust point i'm working with is 10 inches your waistline i'm working with waistline 17 inches then your hip line the hip line i'm working with is 20 24 inches then your full length of the down the full length i'm working with is 41 inches now your round body measurement you need your round bust measurement which is 40 your round waist measurement which is 32 your round hip measurement which is 42 and nipple to nipple measurement nipple to nipple measurement that i'm working with is eight inches for this drafting i'm going to show you the easiest way to actually draft your front and your back pattern at the same time you don't have to redraft your front then redraft your back i'll show you how to cut with one pattern both your front and your back now for that the first thing we are going to be doing now is to from this folded edge we have here i'm going to go ahead and mark one inch all the way down so before i forget while folding your fabric you fold with the biggest body round body measurement that you have for instance since my round bust is 40 inches my round waist is 32 inches my round hip is 42 inches so looking at this round body measurement i have 42 inches is the biggest round body measurement i have so i'll go ahead and divide 42 inches into four which is actually 10 and a half and I will add the allowance I'll be working with. If it is three inch or four inch or two inch, depending on the allowance you're working with, you add it to your biggest round body measurement after dividing it by four. So that is the number you'll be folding your fabric with. So if I divide 42 by four, which is 10 and a half, I will add three inch allowance that I'll be making use of, which is actually 13 and a half inches so while folding my fabric i will make sure that i am folding with 13 and a half inches with this you can actually save your fabric or economize your fabric to be enough for what you're making use of but since this is a pattern paper i just went ahead to fold the pattern paper into two and my measurement is coming from the folded edge so let's continue after i marked out this one inch now this one inch now will be serving as our zipper allowance i told you i'll be showing you how to cut with one pattern so i went ahead to mark out one inch which is our zipper allowance so the next thing now i'm just going to do is to go ahead and fold this one inch in i'll just fold the one inch in all the way down to the end of our pattern paper i was done folding in the one inch we are now going to go ahead and start the drafting now i'm just going to go ahead and draw over a line here that will be seven as my shoulder line and my starting point so from the shoulder line i'll go ahead and impute my bust points which is 10 inches my waist um, line which is 17 inches 
my hip line which is 24 inches and the full length of the gown that we are working with which is 41 inches so i'll just go ahead and extend these lines So after marking out the body measurements, I'll go ahead and level it. Show, shoulder line. This is bust point. This is our waist line. This is our hip line. And this is the full length of the dress we are working with. So after that, I'll go ahead and divide my shoulder measurements into two inches. So the shoulder measurement I'm working with is shoulder 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches so i'll go ahead and mark 8 inches starting from this folded place that we did earlier so i'll mark 8 inches then you divide your armhole measurement by 2 my armhole measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 is also 8 inches so i'll go ahead and mark 8 inches So I will use my curve ruler and extend the line. Now after that, the next thing we are going to do now is to impute our neck width and neck depth now the neck width i'm working with is three inches now this is optional you can choose to do lesser or more depending on the kind of neckline you're working with so for the depth i'll be working with two inches now the purpose of these two inches that i marked for the depth is so as to when you use it to cut out your back part and your front pattern you can now separate your front pattern away from your back piece then give your front the neckline you want it to be so for the front and the back will be doing two inches i'll go ahead and use my ruler and connect it just like you see me doing now if you don't have a ruler, you can also use your hand to sketch it just make sure that the line of your width and the depth is meeting together now for our shoulder slope we'll be coming down by one inch on this um armhole line that we have i'll go ahead and mark one inch here then i'll go ahead and connect the one inch that i marked here all the way to the neck neck width so after that for our armhole curve the next thing i'm going to do now is go ahead and measure from this one inch that we had earlier all the way down to the full line i have seven inches here because we already subtracted one inch so the seven inches that i have here divided by two will give me three and a half so i'll go ahead and mark three and a half on this line then at that spot that i marked three and a half i'll go in by half of an inch and mark it here now we we'll also go ahead and divide our round bust into four now the round bust i'm working with is 40 inches 40 inches divided by four is 10 inches so i'll go ahead and measure 10 inches on this armhole line that we extended earlier so i'll mark it here then i'll go ahead and connect this dot so from this half inch that we took in to this one inch shoulder slope that we have i'll just go ahead and connect it just like you see me doing then after that i will turn my curve ruler you can still do it with your first hand if you don't have a curve ruler and make sure that this half inch is actually connecting with this round bust measurement that we had earlier so i'll go ahead and place my curve ruler on it and curve it so with this we've gotten our armhole curve for the front and the back now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and impute our round body measurement 
now on the bust point we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurement divided by two which is actually 10 inches so i'll go ahead and mark 10 inches so for this draft now we're making use of two inch allowance now you can choose to do extra allowances or lesser depending on how much fabric you're working with so i'll go ahead and mark extra two inch allowance for the sewing stitches now on the waistline i'm going to go ahead and divide 32 into into four 32 into four will give me eight inches so from this folded edge i'll go ahead and mark eight inches after marking the eight inches i'll also add extra two inch allowance for our stitching allowance now on the hip line i'll divide my hip measurement into into four which is ten and a half ten and a half i'll go ahead and mark ten and a half here and add extra two inch stitching allowance now on the full length of your dress mostly if it is a short dress we are going to go ahead and subtract one inch from what we got from our hip um hip line from our round hip measurement so since we got ten and a half from our round hip measurement at the full length i'll subtract one inch which is nine and a half so i'll go ahead and mark nine and a half and other and also add two inch sewing allowance to this dress so after marking in the round body measurement connect the lines so from the bust point to the waistline with my curve ruler i'll go ahead and join the lines together just like you see me doing now from the waistline to the hip line we'll go ahead and also join the lines together So you can actually free sketch this if you don't have a curve ruler you can use your hand to make sure that the shape is in order so from the hip line to the full length i'll go ahead and straighten it with a straight loop ruler just like you see me doing now for this full length area if you don't want to actually sew a pencil dress there's no need of subtracting the one inch from your round hip measurement you can just go ahead and impute the exact measurement that you have on your hip length on your full length so but for me i'm doing a pencil down that was why i subtracted one inch away from it so covering this out this is what our body measurement is looking like as you can see so the next thing we are going to go ahead and do now i also extended the measurement down to our armhole so the next thing we are going to do now is to impute our dart now the dart you will be needing your nipple to nipple measurement now the nipple to nipple measurement i'm working with is eight inches so on the waistline i'll divide the eight inches into two which is actually four inches now from this folded edge, I'll go in and mark four inches on this part. Now, I will also go in and mark four inches on our bust point. After marking it on the waistline, I'll mark it on the bust point. Now at this point where I marked two inches on the bust point, I will just come down by one inch. After coming down by one inch from the nipple to nipple measurement we divided and marked, I will also mark the four inch of our nipple to nipple measurement on our hip line. Now I've marked it. Now on this hip line, I'm actually going to go up by two inches at that spot that I marked our nipple to nipple measurement. 
So at the bust point, I came down by one inch. At the hip line, I came back, I came up by two inches. Now I'm just going to go ahead and connect the four inches line that we have. That's from this one inch to the two inch that we had and join also the waist four inch measurement that we have. Just watch what I'm doing. So this is what it should be looking like. After that, I will go in and out on my waist line nipple to nipple measurement that I imputed before by half of an inch. So I'll mark half of an inch in and half of an inch out on the waistline nipple to nipple measurement. Now, with this, you're just going to connect this half inch that we have here all the way to the tip of this um, one inch that we have and connect it down to the tip of this two inch that we brought down. Just watch the way I'm doing it. So I placed my curve ruler at the tip and at the half inch that we had earlier. Now this that you're actually going to do it on your fabric. You're going to replicate it on your fabric and not on your pattern paper. So I'm just showing you on this pattern paper so that after drafting on your main fabric, you actually know how to apply your dart towards it. So this is what the dart is looking like. Opening this up for the back, remember we already have one inch allowance. Now, if I want to cut with this same fabric, with this same pattern paper, I will fold in this one in just like I did earlier and cut out my front piece. Now, to cut out the back piece, I will unfold this one inch that I have earlier and extend the lines to the one inch. Now we are going to be contouring our zip to avoid zip bulging. Now, after doing that, on my waistline, I'm actually going to measure in half of an inch from this folded edge. I'll measure half of an inch on this folded edge. Then I will connect this half of an inch all the way down to the um, neck area. Like I will connect it just like we did um, on our dart. I'll just go ahead and connect it all the way down to the neck area, making sure that it's out. Then connect this one down at our hip line. Just watch the way I'm doing it. The half inch will just go out all the way down to our hip line. Then this one will also go out all the way to our neck area. So this is what the zip um, contouring is looking like. With this, it will avoid your zip from bulging. Now, while cutting your pattern paper, this is actually how we are going to go ahead and cut out this zipper area. So I'll go ahead and trim out this half of an inch that we did for our zip contouring. After cutting out the half of an inch, this is what the center is looking like. It's not looking straight again. So I'll just go ahead and cut out our drafting paper. So after cutting this out, this is what our basic body is looking like. As you can see, it's having all this curvy shape and the rest of it. Now, folding it, you can, you can cut your front pattern just like I said before. Unfolding it this way, you can actually cut out your back pattern. 
so that is the end of this basic body tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video see you in our next video bye